the cherubim, the cherubim, symbolical figures used in scripture to represent the majesty and ruling power of God, also is attributes. The word cherubim in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 24 symbolizes protection or sacred life. The inner spiritual life is protected from the outward senses, the carnal mind, the flame of a sword is the divine logos or word of God. Believers must unite with the inner word or sacred life through spiritual thought, meditation, prayer and Bible study. The word is made flesh or is brought into manifestation when we transform our minds to the ideas of the divine mind and set up the activity of the divine will which is perfect thought and corresponding perfect action. The way of the tree of life is the narrow path referred to by Jesus Christ. It is the way of unfolding the divine consciousness by studying the word of God, the Bible. The fact that these cherubim add the face of a man to the front went nicely with the fact that they add the hands of a man under their wings and also that the cherubim add in general the likeness with the appearance of a man. The heavenly cherubim also have the God-given quality or attribute of love just the same as man as the first man Adam having been created in the image and likeness of God. Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 to 28 The face of a lion in being on the right side of the head of each cherubim emphasizes the quality of righteousness, justice. This justice has power as its support, which is well pictured in that opposite the lion's face there was to the left a bull's face. In his latter description of the cherubim, Ezekiel calls the bull's face the face of the cherubim. Ezekiel chapter 10 and verse 14. Doubtless cherubim are creatures of great power like that of the bull. The eagle's face to the rear of the cherubim's head points to wisdom, the heavenly wisdom which corresponds with the heavens in which the eye flying eagle soars. This face fits in nicely with the fact that the cherubim had each four wings enabling them to match the eagle in its flight. The eagle's face as well as the man's face, the lion's face and the bull's face is found among the faces of the four cherubim living creatures that were seen in vision about 700 years later by John. These latter cherubim being located around the throne of God in heaven. Revelation chapter 4 and verse 6 to 9. Thus consistently down through the centuries the same symbols represent God's wisdom, the eagle, power, the bull, justice, the lion, and love, the man. These four attributes are in perfect balance with one another. Yahweh has gifted his heavenly creatures and his earthly human creatures with the suitable measures of these four attributes. These attributes must always be present in the holy of holies within our minds. We have this holy place and these cherubim with their wings spread over the whole ark. No matter how great a backslider you may be, the presence of the Spirit of God is not far away from your conscious mind engraved on the very substance of your being, the two tablets of stone. If we do not have this higher realization before us constantly, we shall drop down to the physical plane of our religion. We will become a mere theatrical display.